Hey everybody, Shabba here, back from my video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a generator in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just make a generator. So I'm just going to make a very basic one. So I'm just going to get like a part like this in the air. And that's going to be our generator for now. Change the colors a bit. Make it transparent. Then I'm going to name it generator using properties. You can see it in Explorer. I said workspace. Now I'm going to right click generator and workspace. If you don't see Explorer, you can just open it in view right there. And then you can right click generator, insert object, insert a script. Then now we can start scripting. So now, we're going to go back, and then we're going to go right click this again, insert object, attachment, I can just search it like that, or you can try to find it. It's hard to find this, so I'm just going to search it instead. And then move it to where you want them to be able to like generate the blocks or whatever you want to generate so i'm just going to move it next to spawn like right here and then right click the attachment insert object then proximity prompt so you can type it in like that click it and then boom that's all you have to do you can change this like generator and then generate part you can change the whole duration to like one and the distance so i'm just going to change that to like six or something and boom that's all you have to do for this setup then go back to the script and then start scripting i'm just going to delete this And then now, we're going to set some variables. So local generator, equals to script, not parent. Local attachment, it goes generator, wait for child attachment. That'll wait for it to load in, if it's not loaded in yet. Then prompt, equals attachment, wait for child, proximity prompt. And I'll do the exact same thing, but for the prompt instead. Then now, I'm going to put a function. So local function on use. So when you activate the prompt, then now we're going to make it generate a part. If you want to make it generate something else, like, I don't know, maybe a model. Like this. So I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to name it brick. And then I'm going to put it in server storage. So I'm going to scroll down and go to server storage. Put it in there. And then, and click the script and go back in it. Then we're going to set another variable. I'm going to set two variables, so local storage it was game, get service, server storage. So that'll get the server storage, which we put the part in. And then you can get the part itself, so local part goes storage, wait for child brick, wait for it to load in. And then we can clone it, so local clone goes part clone. So that'll clone the part, and then we can put it into workspace so you can see it and stuff. Then clone dot position equals generator dot position. So that'll set its position that'll set its position to this right here. And then now the last code. So prompt dot triggered connect function. Wait no, not that. I'm gonna put the function in there. So it's named on use. So we're just gonna put on use right there. And now that's how you do it. So now you can click play. Then you hold E on this, it should make a part. And if you want to do a model, so we can just group this using Control G. Then we can go back in here. We have to change the code a bit. You might want to set the primary part 
I'll show you how to do it with that one. So clone move to generator dot position. And you want to rename this to what the model is. And then it should work the exact same. It will go a bit above this because this we're using move to, but it still works. And that's how you make a generator in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.